But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory, Admiral. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here, and welcome to the Retro Future. Massive thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is the go to place for all of your projects. Of course, they offer every kind of PCB, including flex PCBs, but they now include injection molding, 3D printing, CNC machining, and sheet metal fabrication. PCBs start from $5 for 10 PCBs, but use the link in the description below and get your first order free. This is the GTA, the Game Theory Admiral. I've been after one of these for a seriously long time, and then I was just having a look on my Instagram, and one popped up on someone's story, Nintendo DIY, I think his name was, for 30 quid, and I was like, absolutely, I'll have it. He didn't know if it worked or not because he didn't have a game, but I have a game to test it out. So this right here is a very well-known Game Boy clone. I've seen it on Google Images. Back when I first started collecting fake Game Boys, this was one of the ones on the list, and I finally have it in my hands. The branding is exactly the same as the Game Boy Advance, which is what makes this thing just so beautiful, except it's called, for some reason, the Game Theory Admiral. Nobody knows why, GTA right there, and I've got Game Theory written in some PowerPoint font, and then we've got Mystery. Mystery is the company who made it. Bit of a mystery if you ask me. It's the blue version, NTSC. If you flip it around on the back, you've got the volume, TV connect, on off, contrast degree, joystick two, 4.5 volt mains, joystick one, select, reset, and start. And then you have some of the most beautiful Chinese to English translations. <clears throat> Relevant crazy warning. When child the operation see the TV game. Emergence below condition of illness. For example, faint. The sense of vision variety should immediately stop the usage. Online operation method of TV slash joystick of game machine. Confirm your game machine for cut, offing the power supply appearance. Then link the line or joystick conjunction line to the TV to insert the X to connect the electric outlet. Absolutely beautiful. There's a few more there that I shall leave you to read if you so wish. But let's pop this thing open. I mean, the box, it has to be said, the box is probably my favorite part of the whole thing. But we shall venture forth and see what is inside. Here we go. Right, so inside we have the manual, the unit itself, and we've also got the AV cable. When take a look at the unusual environment inside, usually a certain flashlight that appear on certain pattern. Minimum amount the part of people will or crazy disease go actionist, take place to temporarily lose the consciousness. That was written by Shakespeare himself. Here's the little cable, quite cool. You've got a, uh, a sort of a link cable to AV. And then we have the Game Theory Admiral in all of its mystery. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And this one is in mint condition. It still even has the screen protector on it. They put the reset button right next to the start and select because they hate you. However, it is actually very recessed, so it's not easy to press. The D-pad is actually really nice. I should say that straight away. It looks like it's gonna be quite uncomfortable, but it is actually fairly decent. You've also got the B and A buttons there. There's no shoulder buttons. Uh, however, you do have two wheels, or degree, as they like to call them. You've got the volume one over here and the contrast one over there. Power switch is very similar to the original Game Boy Advance, and then you have the TV output there. On the bottom, you've got joystick one, joystick two, and there's your 4.5 volt in, and that is actually it. Oh, and you've got the screen and the speaker. And then on the back, you flip it over, you've got your cartridge slot right there, and then you've got three AA batteries that make this thing tick. So, let's have a look at a game. Here is a game, it's the only one I have. However, someone is actually selling on eBay right now one of these for 100 pounds, which is actually, is a fairly good price. If you want one of these, go and get it now because it's the only one you're ever gonna find for a very long time. And it has included with it a Game Theory Admiral boxed game. And it's licensed and branded with, it's definitely not licensed, but it's branded with Game Theory Admiral on it. But yeah, here's the little cartridge. It looks sort of similar to a Game Boy Advance cartridge, just a little bit longer, and that plugs in like that 
into there. This one has actually never been opened before, which is really cool. And then we can flick it on and you quickly discover it's terrible. Now the screen on this thing is so abysmal that I'm actually gonna have to plug it into a monitor just to see what we're actually doing. I have to play this thing whilst it's situated on the table because it goes crazy if you move it, but that's fine. Let's have a look at Boxes World because that's actually a really good game. I was playing this before, start. Hey, oh wait, it's changed to Box World now. Look at that, we've never seen this game before. Completely original to the Game Theory Admiral. But look at that, it's actually perfectly playable. I actually really like this game. It's got Farrah Jacker as the music, which is brilliant. I mean, it wears off quite quickly. I have no idea how much this would have actually cost back in the day. Oh no, we've ballsed it up. Wait, can we still do it? I think we can. Obviously, it would have cost a lot less than a Game Boy, but could you imagine if someone's nan got this wrong and instead of getting a Game Boy Advance for Christmas, you got a Game Theory Admiral. But there we go, there's Boxes World. I mean, the colors on this little monitor is actually great. It does not look as good as that on this screen. This screen is horrible. Uh, we're gonna press the reset button now, go back to the main menu, and let's have a little bit of Lawn Purge. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Fish war. What do you do? Do you eat the smaller fish until- <gasps> Oh. Oh. I assume you eat the smaller fish. No, I can't eat the crabs. Oh God, this is this is excruciating. So there is one other thing that this can do, which is actually quite cool. I mean, completely pointless and just a bit of a gimmick, but quite cool. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a Fami clone. Now this right here is an adapter that I got sent with a very similar unit from which I reviewed a few months back. But this right here is the Woad Claw Screen Connector which allows you to play actual Famicom games on the Game Theory Admiral. So you plug it in, just like that, and then you can take your official Famicom cartridges, such as Super Mario, and plug it straight into the top, and there you have yourself a very nice little Game Theory Admiral. So here we go, Super Mario on the Game Theory Admiral. Now, it has to be said, the emulation is a little bit slow. Oh, and the D-pad is actually very unresponsive. But I'm, also, but I'm also not great at games whilst talking and trying to film a video as well. But yeah, I mean, it works. It does work, but the emulation is horrible. And I think that's definitely down to the, uh, the console. So this is not exactly a viable way to play NES games on your TV, as well as the fact that if you pick the thing up, the screen goes crazy and glitches loads. So, I mean, what is this thing good for? Not a lot, other than the comedic value. I can't even, there we go. I will admit though, the screen quality is actually very good. Well, certainly the output image quality because uh, this is the monitor that's actually displaying the image in good quality. And uh, yeah, it looks fairly decent. So I think if you plug this into an actual CRT, uh, which is probably what this thing would have been intended for, um, it would look really, really good. But yeah, it's just a shame that that connector is so finicky. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That is gonna wrap it up, I think, for the Game Theory Admiral, a super cool thing. It's definitely the box that is my favorite part, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. The Game Theory Admiral is a very rare thing that's not been documented very much online at all, so I'm very glad to finally have one and be able to show it to all of you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Did you have one of these as a kid? Did you know anybody who had one? If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.